See from where to where we are jumping. <laughs> yes, definitely. Otherwise, uh, how do I tell you what time to come for dinner? <laughs> if we all become timeless, how to invite you for dinner, tell me. We don't have to be slaves, it's a device that we used for our convenience. See, if we don't divide this day into twenty-four hours, would you know when to come here for dinner? It's a convenience. Where is the question of enslavement? So you may come when you're hungry, but there may be no dinner when you come <laughs> You may not feel hungry till one o'clock in the morning. That doesn't mean it's the dinner time here. See, see any convenience, any convenience that we create for yourself, time or money or a car or any technology that we created for our convenience, out of our unawareness, out of our unawareness, we get enslaved to it. There is nothing wrong with the device that we created. There's nothing wrong with the car. There's nothing wrong with the money. There's nothing wrong with the time. You got enslaved to it out of your unawareness. That's the problem, isn't it? Time is not the problem, money is not the problem, car is not the problem, any other technology is not the problem. You got enslaved to it, that is the problem. Enslavement happened because you're unaware. So your unawareness is the problem. So how to become aware? What is this awareness? Awareness is on many different levels. One can… what you are aware of is all that exists for you. This must be understood. Right now you're sitting here, don't turn back and see. Right now there is a huge dinosaur standing behind you. You are not aware of it. Does it exist for you? No. So it doesn't matter, such a huge animal is standing there, you are not aware of it, so it doesn't exist for you. So only what you are aware of exists for you. Right now your awareness is limited to small aspect of your life. Whole aspect of spirituality means to become of aware of everything that you are so that before you go, you know life, you experience life in its totality, to live totally. To live and to live totally, that's spirituality, so that you know life in all dimensions. You don't go just knowing a little part of your life, you want to know all of it. So if you want to know all of it, how? If we have to use an analogy, let's… let's say we turn down the voltage for the lights. Now let's say just one light is there, it just lights up only that much. Only that much we see. If you turn up the voltage, suddenly you're able to see much more because the light has spread. So awareness is just like this. Right now your energies, your body, your emotion, your mind, everything is fu functioning a certain limited voltage. You crank up the voltage, suddenly you start seeing so many things which are not in your experience till that moment. So in a way, to put it very simply, to put it technically, you need to turn up your voltage. The voltage, the life voltage within you, today she was saying, she doesn't want to sleep because she wants to live. If you don't want to sleep, I don't want to sleep will not take away sleep. You turn up your voltage, suddenly no sleep. You can turn up your voltage simply with your enthusiasm, but that will not take you all the way. There are other kinds of technologies to turn up your voltage in a certain way where all the time you're high. See, <laughs> within myself right now I'm absolutely drunk, not with alcohol, okay? I never touched it. I'm totally drunk within myself. Am I balanced enough and logical enough to handle any situation? Yes? So all the time I'm fully drunk on one level, another level I'm perfectly sane. If I want to flip, any moment I'll flip. If you are like this, inside you're fully charged, outside you're controlled. This is what is needed in your life if you want to experience life in its totality. You try to exercise control over your life and you started putting this control over your very process of life. So life is happening like a trickle. Life within you should happen like a huge explosion but outside it is fully controlled. You will see initially when you go into your face like this, even the outside tends to happen like an explosion for some time. 
but within a limited period of time you will gather control over it, outside is controlled, inside is an explosion. That's how it should be, every moment of your life. Within you, life should be an absolute explosion. Outside of you, it is properly controlled. When it's like this, you will get to use your physical body, your mind, your emotion, everything that you have to its fullest extent. Things that you never thought you were capable of, suddenly you start doing simply because your old age is full.